Greetings, RC, RC Model, Model Geeks. Geeks! And welcome to another exciting... Bit of wood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts are out today. They are. Right, here's a question for you. What do you get when you put this and this together? Um, exactly. Nobody knows. No, I'm not sure. What? I don't know yet. We'll find out <laughs> when we do it. Okay. <laughs> so, here's today's mission. It's how to convert. This is a Digifleet XPFM. Yeah. Radio control system. Um, to 2.4. Oh, awesome. With an FR Sky DHT board. Didn't Also I... known yeah. as an FR Sky hack board for certain people. Hmm. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to convert this to 2.4. Awesome. And we can go flying and look all retro. Oh, excellent. Yeah, with their lovely high-low rate switches and oh. everything. I wish I kept mine now. Dear. Yeah. Yeah. This one's almost brand new, hardly been used. Um, there's a previous video on this. Yes, there is. Um, that's what you get inside. Yeah. Lovely. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to convert this to 2.4. We want to try and keep it as retro as possible, so we will be keeping the antenna. I was going to say about that, you're going to keep the aerial. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, two interesting features on this radio, actually, while we're, while we're here. Um, it's got coupled aileron and rudder on a switch, in and out. Yeah. And you can adjust the mixing just by twisting the knob as you fly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also also got a tick over adjustment. Yeah. So you can tweak your tick over on your uh, on your engine mm -hmm. uh, on the fly. Two useful features for our uh, moth. Yes. Which is what we're going to be flying this with. Oh, excellent. Uh, and it's got mechanical trims as well. Um, look at that. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, feel the click. They're quite positive too. Aren't they, they are lovely. I've already converted this to um, to new batteries. Um, it's now got uh, 2,500 milliamp hour batteries in there, mm -hmm. uh, which should give it quite a long uh, usage time. It used to have 600 milliamp hour batteries in there, mm -hmm. so it's quite a uh, quite a performance uh, upgrade. Yeah, um, we didn't do a video on that, but uh, yeah, it's in there. So all we've got to do is get that into there. Okay, easy in it. Piece of cake. Let's find out. Yeah, back in a minute. Right, so the first thing we're going to do with this baby is uh, is get it apart. So we're going to remove the four screws. And Colin's pubes. Hey, I ain't got many left now. You get to that stage, don't you, where everything yeah. just falls off. Really? Mm. <laughs> you just got a hole on your face. Mm. <laughs> right, so we'll remove this cover so we can see the innards and there is the innards mm -hmm. so what we've got in here is basically an RF board oh, which is down here yeah and then the main sort of mixing board which is here there isn't a lot in these actually to be honest with you um, oh, I heard something fall off then oh, it's one of those plastic things and we've got to remove these spacers. And there's one screw that holds this board in. <laughs> Remember, this thing is all connected together at the moment. Uh, it's all powered up because the batteries are actually soldered in. So you've got to be very careful because it was very easy to short these out. I think what we'll actually do is remove the side panel, which is how you get the batteries out of these things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and unsolder the battery for now because I remember from experience in the past, when I was young and stupid, um, I did poke around with one of these and I did blow it up. So, better to be safe than sorry. Oh yeah. Let's disconnect the battery at an early stage. Because you might have steady hands, but fleet had loads of little traps in them for mm. blowing things up there we go right 
we've removed the side and there you can see the battery pack yeah yeah which just basically slots in there like that with its two wires yeah and there's another one under here uh -huh. yeah, I can just yeah just to see give you the eight cells just see the end of those. so what we'll do is I'll unsolder this remove it and we'll be back with you in a minute okay right okay oh this is fun um, we've got it apart as much as we need to for the moment um, we had to take this top board off look at that you don't want any wires to fall off there no I can see them uh, and we've got down to the uh, this is the RF board yeah uh, on here we disconnected the battery one half of the battery anyway and just taped up the wires now on this main board we've got a uh, NE 5044N which is basically it's a, a PPM encoder all right so that takes all of your um, your inputs and encodes them and just show the guys there what's that chip there yeah here's that one now pin 11 on that is the output it's a PPM output all right okay. so we trace that through mm-hmm yeah down to the RF board okay and if we flip this baby over it's all a bit tight but we'll get to it all right yeah I can see that um, it's basically this white wire that is your PPM output from the main board uh, to the RF board yep. there got that yeah okay so we've got one of their connections we know what that is the red over here mm -hmm. yeah that's going to be your positive feed for the power yeah and black here is going to be your your ground yep for the uh, for the hack board mm. um we're going to leave this board in we're going to disable it by just pulling the crystal okay yeah we did a quick voltage uh, sorry not voltage a current measurement yeah um on the the current drawer of this yeah um with the crystal in and everything transmitting it's drawing about 200 milliamps um when you pull the crystal that drops down to about 70 milliamps so it's disabling the rf part of the uh, of the board and um, so i think probably once we get a um, 2.4 in there we're going to be pulling much le probably less than 100 milliamps yeah yeah and on a 2400 amp hour battery do your maths mm -hmm. that's loads of hours yeah so that's good so the next thing is we're going to work out how to bodge that board into this uh, into this unit. We know where it's got to go now. We know we're using the red, the black, and the white. Yeah. So that's where we're going to tie our, our signal points into an in our power. So we'll get on with bodging that, and back to you in a minute. Radio. Okay. Right. We've got to find somewhere to mount the aerial. Um, I want to leave the original aerial in there for authenticity. Yes. So on this version, there are two blank holes. They've got blanking plates over them. Yeah. They were for extra features. Um, if you wanted to spend the extra cash, one there and one there. We're going to use one of those holes to mount the SMA connector. Uh huh. Um, for the new aerial. Right. And these caps just they're glued on. So. You know, they've been glued in there for 20 years or more. Oh, that's my little probe bleeping. Mm -hmm. So, they're glued in there very well. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the glue. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try. Nope, she still don't want to come out. Whatever glue they used, oh, there's, yeah, there's me boy. Um, I think they might need a knife. Okay. So we'll be back in a minute when we've got a knife. Right, finally, finally managed to get that little bastard out. I've never known something glued in so well. <laughs> um, we had to melt it out in the end. Yes, Glue would just hmm. not release. So anyway, we've got a hole there now, which will take our SMA. Hmm. Look at that. Perfect hole size. Awesome. So, uh, next thing is we're going to feed this through from the back, which is going to be tight, but she will go. Um, get it screwed in there. Yeah. And that's one part of the install done. Okay. Back in a minute when we got that in there. We are progressing. We have the SMA mounted into the hole there. 
Mm -hmm. We have Colin's phone, which is going to get hit by a hammer. Yeah. Uh, we've got the bind switch and light here. Uh -huh. uh, mounted. And we've got the, the mode of the... Um, of the module switch mounted in the spare hole that was there. Excellent. Uh, and there's the back of it so far. Um, we managed to use, there was there was actually three spare holes for mounting another switch uh, on this board, so we've used those. They're not connected to anything, so we can, so we've soldered that in, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll just solder the wires directly to that then, mm -hmm. and then that's that done. Uh, yeah, so it's coming along, and yeah. we'll be back with you um, when we've done a bit more. We've soldered our three wires from our DHT board uh, to the appropriate places. So you can see there, we've got the positive there, mm -hmm. ground there, and the signal there. Mm -hmm. So, it's rock and roll. So all we've got to do now is put everything back together. Yeah, and see if it works. And see if it works. We're nearly there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so if Colin pans down to the back of the radio. There we go guys. There it is. All back together. And there is the module. Mm. If we come back out a bit. Yeah, there you go. So all we've got to do now is put the back on here. Mm-hmm. Which simply screws on with four screws and then find a receiver to bind it to. Yeah. See if it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'll work. Uh, yeah. I have confidence. Yeah. Colin has confidence. Yeah. And incontinence. Yes, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to change him at yeah. some point. Yeah. Um, And jammy dodgers. And jammy dodgers. We don't have any jammy dodgers left. Colin's eating them all now. Yeah, so guys... Um, we're, we're down to zero dodgers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anybody that wants to become a Patreon... Yeah. Um, uh, sign up. There she goes. And the last screw. And then it's just the back to go on. Yeah. Like that. Some half turn. There you go. And that is it, completed. <laughs> yeah. Fucking phone. <laughs> Boing. <clears throat> yeah, let's turn it on. Hey, we've got power. So we're getting there. Awesome. We'll be back with you when we're ready to bind. Okay then. Right, yeah, the final thing you've got to do, of course, is you don't want the crystal in there anymore. Crystal stops the old um, transmitter section transmitting. So what you do, here's the uh, the crystal. Yep. Yeah, um, that just pops out of there. Mm -hmm. Put it to one side, and there you've got your original bit of plastic and then thing to do bit of tape or something just glue that in there so you don't lose it and then it all looks original yeah and it works beautiful so uh yeah we'll be back with you when we bind this baby the lights are on yes question is is there anybody home is there anybody home <laughs> there is so yes let's look down to these servos so Moving the stick. There is our elevator. Yep. Ailerons. Yep. Throttle. Yep. Yep. Right there. She works! Yes! <laughs> it all works. It all works. On 2.4. On 2.4. There's our DAR receiver. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Awesome. awesome. So, what can we say, really? Well, 
I mean, it's easy. I mean, if we can do it with a digi fleet, a dodgy fleet, <laughs> yeah. you can do it with any transmitter, yeah. you know? Um, it wasn't that difficult, really. No. Once, you know, you need a little bit of knowledge, but yeah, it's doable. Yeah, and a bit of soldering skill. And a bit of soldering skill. Yeah, yeah. Wicked. So, um, guess what we're going to be flying the moth with? Um, hang on, let me guess. Um... That's right, the Tyrannis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> no, I think we might be flying it with this little baby. Yeah. I mean, that is, that's perfect. You know, hmm. uh, I can't really fault it. Uh, yeah, retro radio. Hmm. Even got a little sticker on here for... Uh, setting up the modes yeah firmware update two way and one way that's like if you want telemetry or not telemetry yeah or if you're using a telemetry receiver mm -hmm. see the light flashing on the top see yeah. mind aerial on there beautiful um what more can we say well that's a wrap i think that's a wrap yeah yeah so uh yeah now now you can see why maybe we wanted to do what we did with the um, reversing of the servo because we're using a fairly Billy basic radio here mm. where the mixing is a pain in the arse anyway. Yeah. And it ain't very good. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards. On to the next thing, which would be the plane again. Mm -hmm. I would have thought. Oh, we've got a, um, if we haven't put it up, because um, I don't know which video we're going to put up first, um, there is a mishmash number 10 yes. uh, to, to come. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, rock and roll. Yeah. So uh, it's probably goodbye from uh, Mad Colin there on the camera. And it's uh, goodbye from Rob. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And, and we've got and the be a Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, be yeah. A Patreon. Otherwise, we won't be doing anything. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll be starving. Yeah. <laughs> Lack of jammy dodgers. Lack of jammy dodgers. Yeah, indeed. All right, see? Yeah. Uh, we'll see you all again very soon. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.